Hey guys, I am Mrs. Coster, and I am excited for another great year of biology at Lasseter High School. So the point of this video is to tell you a little bit about me, um, to get you excited about a really awesome course that you will be taking this year, and also to just sort of let you know what some of my expectations are of you as my student. So on this screen, you can see my daily schedule, just in case you ever want to know where I am. So I do teach another course, Honors Anatomy and Physiology, that's a senior level science course, and I have that first, second, and fourth period and I typically also have anatomy for um, academic support and enrichment, ASC, as well. And then I'll have honors biology, fifth and sixth period. And if you ever need to find me during seventh period, I might be in my classroom, I might be other places, um, because that is my planning period. So I am going to spend a whole year getting to know you, so I think it's only fair that you get to know a little bit about me. And also you did an activity that you made some claims about me based on some evidence, and now it's kind of time to find out if you were right or not. So I can't talk about me without talking about my family. Um, I am married. I have three children, all boys. It's always fun around my house. And you can see on this slide just some of the things that I like. Um, I'm always spending way too much money on Starbucks, Chick-fil-A, Target. Uh, we go to Disney World at least once a year, every year. I do enjoy running outside of school, and obviously I love all things science. So I actually did grow up around this area. I went to Addison Elementary, I went to J.J. Daniel Middle, and then I actually graduated from Sprayberry High School, but don't worry, I am a Trojan through and through now. I got my undergraduate degree from the University of Georgia, so go dogs! you will hear me cheering for them um, all fall semester when football is happening. And I got my graduate degree from Kennesaw State University. Okay, now just a little bit about me and my family. Um, I am married. Mr. Coster is actually, as I'm recording this, is returning from an eight-month-long deployment in two days. By the time you watch this, hopefully he will already be home. But he is a major in the U.S. Army. He works full-time for the Georgia National Guard. And we have been married for almost 12 years now. My oldest son is named Ethan, and I actually have a guest appearance for you today. <laughs> so this is Ethan. Ethan, do you want to tell him how old you are? Six. Seven. Oh, seven. He just turned seven um, earlier this month. And what are some things that you like? I like playing baseball, and I like science. And I like science. All right, now he's going to go back off now. Okay. Thanks, Ethan. <laughs> My middle son is Grant, and he is four and a half years old, and he is a ball of energy all the time. And then I have a one and a half year old, his name is Carson, and really the only way I can describe Carson is that he's very busy. He is always into things, always opening cabinets, always pulling things out of drawers. He's very, very busy, um, but as cute and as sweet as can be. We do have a dog, his name is Crosby. He's a miniature schnauzer, he's almost 14, so he's getting pretty old, he's a little slower, he's pretty much blind and deaf at this point, but he is my first baby, um, so you'll hear me talk about him a lot as well. All right, so now that you know a little bit about me, let's talk a little bit about the course and some things that you have to look forward to. So I'm just going to highlight some of the really important things that are on the syllabus, but make sure you read through the syllabus in detail as well. So one thing that's really unique about the Honors Biology course is that we utilize standards-based grading. So instead of having a category that is like tests are worth 50% of your grade, your categories are the different units that we will be learning this semester. Now, one thing to really pay attention to is that not all of the units are weighted the same. So like our first unit, Understanding Bio Biological Investigations, which is kind of like a review of the scientific method, that's, we don't spend very much time on it, it should be a refresher for you, so that unit is only worth 5% of your grade this semester. But genetics, predicting patterns of inheritance, which we spend like four weeks on and it's kind of tough and is all new information, that is worth 20% of your grade this semester. So in other words, don't slack off at the end of the semester when we get to that genetics, that genetics unit, okay? Buckle down because that's worth a lot. And then you do have a cumulative final exam at the end of the semester worth 15% of your grade. Okay, now each unit sort of has a, a typical formula that it follows. Each unit consists of a unit packet that set, sort of um, has all of our daily work, and we'll talk about that more in just a second. Each unit will have various labs and hands-on activities, and those can range from 20 to 50 points. Um, each lab or each unit will typically have a project. Um, some of them will have minor projects, and then you'll have about one major project per semester that's, you, that's worth the same as a unit test. Almost every unit will have a quiz, and then every unit will have a summative unit, unit test, and the majority of them will have both multiple choice and free response. And a good portion of those free response um, require you to analyze data. 
Okay, so talking about that unit packet. So there will always be a unit packet due on the day of a test, and it can have anywhere from like five to ten items depending on how big the unit is. And basically this is all the like stuff we do in class together. So this should all be very easy. You know, we go over most of the answers. Um, you should have it done and not have to think much about it. It's going to have all your notes organizers. It's going to have any graphic organizers we do in class, the practice work, any web quests or like online simulations we do, any minor activities we do, and then whatever we do to review in class. But you will always, always, always have a packet due on the day of a test. So make sure you have that complete and done and ready to hand in. Okay, some things to know, expectations that I have for my students in my class. Um, tardies are a big deal in high school. Okay, in my class, being on time means that when the bell rings, you are in your seat working on your warm-up. That does not mean you are running down the hallway and throwing yourself in the door as the last bell and ring is ringing. That is, that is tardy. That is late. And typically, if you are late, I'm not even going to say anything to you. I'm just going to mark it as tardy and synergy. But the problem is, um, is that... If you are Mark Tardy three times, that is an automatic administrative write-up. Just make sure if you are late to class and it's like first period, meaning you're late to school, you do need to check in through the, the PPO office at the front of the building. Um, but if you're just late, if you've already been checked into school and you're just running late to class, then I'll just mark you Tardy and Synergy. Cheating is a huge deal. Um, read the syllabus very carefully for what cheating means. A lot of times students think cheating just means like, you know, having the answers written on a piece of paper and using them on a test. But cheating can mean a lot of different things. Um, in this class, you'll do a lot of writing. And if you copy someone else's writing, that is plagiarism, that is cheating. We do a lot of collaborative group work. So we encourage you to work together. We encourage you to talk about things. But just make sure that what you are writing down on that paper is your own words. All right, um, we do have a couple of things that are just policies for the whole entire biology department. And one of those policies is that we do not accept late work. We are preparing you for more rigorous courses in high school, more rigorous college courses. So we do not ever, ever, ever accept late work. But what that means is that we are very clear about when things are due. There should never be any confusion about when something is due. We will tell you 100,000 times in class when it is due. It will always be on the class website. And then um, I utilize a system called Remind, where I text out Remind reminders as well and sometimes those reminders are like don't forget we're in the media center tomorrow to don't forget you have a major project that's due tomorrow so I would su suggest that you pause on this slide right now and you go ahead if you haven't already and sign up to receive these text message reminders I also encourage parents to do that that way if you have a test coming up they can make sure that they're on your case and giving you that nudge to uh, to study for it Okay, what do I do if I'm absent? You never need to come into class the next day and ask me, did we do something yesterday? Because of course we did something. We were here, we were in class, we did something. So if you want to know what we did, then I want you to do a couple of things before you come and talk to me. I am really good about putting everything on the class website. So go and check there first. And I have it outlined exactly what we are doing each day and I, and I um, link all the electronic documents that we do so we, you can find all the work right there. Uh, there's a bin that I have in my box that's labeled biology. You can find hard copies of papers there sometimes. So if you know you're, you're missing something and it's not on the blog to check there. Always ask a classmate. That goes for warm-ups too. And then once you've done all of those things, then come to me if you still have questions or are not exactly sure what, what, it, what you missed. Just um, normal cop policy, if you have an excused absence, you do get the day, the number of days that you were absent plus one extra day. But if you were absent on the day before a test, that will always be a review day in my class. We will not be learning any new content. So you will be expected to take the test on the original scheduled date. So just be aware of that. Okay, extra help. Um, we are going to have extra help sessions weekly for biology and there is a specific like calendar that we have created where like all the teachers sign up to do these weekly help sessions and you can go to any teacher's help session so it's going to be really important if you want to attend one of those that you check the posted schedule and you find out who's teaching it and whether the session is before school or after school most of them will be before school but a few will be after school if you want to schedule one specifically with me i'm available before school you just have to make sure that you schedule that appointment and don't just show up because i have a lot going on in the morning um, different meetings, parent conferences. So I don't want you to show up and me not be there. So always make sure you schedule it by appointment if you're coming either before school or during um, ASE. And if you're coming during ASE, you've got to talk to your ASE teacher so that they know you're coming to see me. Okay, I utilize what is called a flipped classroom, which is basically what you're doing right now, where 
in the traditional classroom, the teacher would stand at the front of a ro the room and they would talk the entire time and they would send you on your merry little way to do, but to do a bunch of homework. And sometimes that homework was really hard, right? But the sitting and the taking notes and the listening, that is the easy part. So that's the part I'm going to have you do at home. A good chunk of your homework is going to be watching these, these video lectures. But what that means is now you're going to come back to class with that sort of basic framework of information. And then we're going to use it and all that stuff you used to have to do at home all by yourself, you're now going to be able to do in class with me when I'm there to help, when I'm there to answer questions. And that means we get a lot more time in class to do the fun stuff, right? The hands-on activities, those increase-based labs where you get to design an investigation. Um, yeah, I will always give you several days to complete a video lesson. Um, if you don't have access to the internet at home, make sure that you look at those media center hours. Our media center is awesome about letting kids come in early or stay late or even come during their lunch periods. You guys get an entire period for lunch. So take advantage of that time to go to the media center and work if you need to. And the benefits of this is that you get to work at your own pace. Um, no one's faster or slower than you if you are doing it on your own. You get to rewatch them as many times as you need to. You can pause when you need to, rewatch. You can do it as a way to review right before a test. And again, it gives us more time in class to do that fun hands-on stuff. Okay, and then just some important links. Um, you can email me at any time. There's my email. It's linked on the Lassiter website as well. We do have a hard, uh, hard copy class set of textbooks, but just a class set. You don't get issued a textbook. So it's really important that you know how to access the online textbook. So if you go to my class website, it's under a general class documents, um, and you'll just use your Office 365 credentials to log in, and it should be available to you there. Uh, there is the link to my blog. Again, you'll find that on the Lassiter our website, go to academics, go to science, go to my name. I don't have it password protected right now, but I typically do and I will password protect it in just a couple of weeks once everyone sort of settles in. But the password is just my last name, Coster, no capitalization or anything like that. And then I'm going to end on this slide here. I asked some of my former students, what advice would you give to incoming students taking biology with Mrs. Coster? And I will let you read some of these um, on your own if you want to pause here. But you'll notice that a lot of them say things about watching those flip videos, how critical those are. Um, but just pause here and read some of these. And I am looking forward to another wonderful year of biology at Lasseter High School.